third set of condition how many factors are squares how many factors are perfect cubes when we say squares cubes we mean perfect squares perfect cubes so from a chapter on factorization you should know that uh, in the factorized form a number is a perfect square only when the indices of the primes are multiples of 2 so it could be a square only when the indices are 0, 2, 4, 6 and so on. And can I continue this infinitely? No, it also needs to be a factor. So the maximum limit is given by the condition, right? So this number could go on till 14. Similarly, the index of 3 needs to be a multiple of 2. And multiples of 2 are 0, 2, 4 and so on. But it cannot go beyond 9. Now 9 is not a part of the series. So the maximum that it could go is only till 8. Since it's, it's there, I'll just write it down also. It cannot go further. So let me just put a boundary here. 3 raised to 10 will be a perfect square. But then it will no longer be a factor. Right? So, one condition comes from the number being square and the other condition higher limit comes from the number being a factor, right? So, 5 pi raised to 0, yes. 5 raised to 2, yes. 5 raised to 4, yes. 5 raised to 6, no. 5 raised to 8, no. Why? Because it can only go 0 to 5, the power, right? So, that's it. Now, so these are three different possibilities. These are, you can count out over here, but this is where beginners, you know, find math stuff. They need to use their fingers to count. 0 to 8, and I'm only counting the uh, even numbers, including 0. So, 8 is 8 by 2 is 4, and a 0 will give me 5 different possibilities, right? So, here if I had, I could go up till 14. 14 is the 7th even number in natural numbers, but a 0 can also be counted. So, that will be 8 possibilities. Sit and count over there, right? And if you are not sure, then count on your finger. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. That are 8 possibilities. So, how many are there? 40, 40, 3s are 120 factors. 120 factors are going to be perfect squares. How many are going to be perfect cubes? If you mark my language, I never said these as even. I kept saying multiples of 2, multiples of 2 because... I want that whole general thought to come. You need the number to be a perfect cube. The index of the prime number, uh, uh, prime numbers have to be multiples of 3. So, multiples of 3 means 0, 3, 6, 9 and so on. And what is the higher limit? It needs to be a factor. So, it cannot go up till this. So, look, 15 is not possible. So, what is the largest one? That is 12. 12 is which multiple of 3? 3, 4 is our 12. 4 multiples of 3 and the number 0. So, these are nothing but 5 possibilities, right? Similarly, so here, I would just go, uh, let me write it a little differently, 0 to 9, but only multiples of 3, multiples of 3, right? This is the third multiple of 3, 3, 3 is a 9. So, 3 of those multiples and 0, there will be 4 possibilities for these, 4 possibilities. 5 raised to 0, 3. That's it. You cannot go with a 6. So, the, those are two possibilities. 5, 4 are 20. 22 are 40. 40 factors are going to be perfect cubes. And are there some which are going to be perfect cubes and perfect squares? Yes, there would be common in them. So, how do I want to find the common? The common are going to be the sixth power. They are perfect square as well as cube. So, they need to be a multiple of 2 as well as 3. That is a multiple of 6. How many multiples of 6 can you get from 0 to 14? 6 twos are 12. 2 multiples and a 0. 3. 3 into 2. 3 into 2 6. 6 into 1. 6 and 6. There are going to be 6 common ones. I leave this for you to do this. Right? It's just as an afterthought. 6 are going to be common to those which are going to be both a perfect square as well as cube. Let me confirm at once. 0, 6, 12. That is 3. 0, 6. And here just a 0. So, 3 into 2, 6.